going to do a leg day today, which mainly going to focus on maybe some quads and stuff and so forth. But it's more so like a rehab day today for me because, like, as I go through these exercises, I'll explain because certain parts of my leg is weaker than others, and some parts of my leg is strong and normal like others. I'm a T12 L1 incomplete paraplegic, and what that means is I'm a lower injury in the in the wheelchair world. So basically, my spinal cord is not completely cut. So like, as a complete, meaning a spinal cord damage would be my accident or something would have cut the, the spinal cord. In my accident, I was ejected from my vehicle and in midair, I was hit when I was thrown from the vehicle. My own car hit me in the back. So it broke my back and damaged my spine. So what that means is my spinal cord is severely damaged and that's why I lost the use of parts of my leg and in the beginning I was completely paralyzed. In the, in the beginning of my accident I couldn't feel nothing from the waist down and through years of rehab and if you watch some of my other videos and stuff like that on my sites you can see the progress and all the challenges and obstacles I've faced over the years. So even to this day being in the chair over 15 years I still do rehab. I will train legs extremely hard but to, to a certain limit. I can't just get up and walk normal, but you'll see how as I train and stuff like that, because a lot of these people in chairs, they got questions for me, and they wonder why don't I just do bodybuilding, you know, regular like everybody else. But you can see that my leg development is totally different than others, and I cannot feel nothing from the knees down. So, with all that being said, I'm getting that out of the works. So today, leg day. For my first exercise, I'm going to do the leg press. Now, you guys are probably wondering, like, you're in the wheelchair, you can do leg press. You know, aren't you normal, Nick? And no, I got, over the years, I got my quad fully functional, but I wear these braces. And as you can see, it's like Robocop. I have no quad muscle, I mean, no calf muscle. So I can't feel like that. You can probably see the hairs fall, but I can't feel that. So my calf muscle, I cannot push with my feet, but I can use my quad. So this is fully functional, this stuff isn't. And I'll show you as I transfer. So, one step by step. So I got used to my quads, but not here. So understand that. The inside of my quads is pretty strong. As a therapist level, it's like a three of five. They do these like plus and negative 1.5s and stuff like that. So on a scale for a therapist, it's probably about a three, 3.5 on a, to a five scale. So three slash five. The outside of my quad is more like a 1.5. It's very weak. And as you see, like I can kick it outwards, right? But the reality is, it's like my upper quad kicking out. If I lay it on my side up on gravity, I can't just lift my leg up because that part of my quad isn't that strong. Hamstrings, it's like a two of five. Glutes, like a one of five. So, and from the calves, a zero of five. So that kind of gives you a factor. And why I can move so well is because of my quads. If I didn't have these braces, these braces keep me to be able to stand. Without them, I fall forward. So these braces lock my shins into place, and I just use my quad. So that's why I can move as well as I do, because of my quad. So I can get in position. I'm doing a leg press. Now, feet placement is everything for me when it comes to leg press. I have to be very careful because I don't have specific use. And I can't feel it. So I'm going to give you an explanation of everything. So whenever I do this, I'll break the braces most of the time. But as you can see, I really pay attention to about, about a little bit narrow than my shoulder width when I do this. Because I, I cannot just, just feel my feet. So that they can roll and break without knowing it. So I'll have my feet just a little bit above a little bit of the foot place right there when I press. So when I do this, I'll keep it in more because my knees buckle like this. So I want to be able to have them close enough to be able to, 
to work. So I'll brace my feet like that when I do it. So I'll protect my, protect right here and just kick it up. So that'll be like my leg press. Cause I'm pressing just with my quads. So that's how I do a leg press. So you can see it. But I'll actually brace, use these whenever I do it. So it's more like that the braces will bend. And when you see the braces, they've actually snapped right there. So you can, I'll take these off. So the braces actually snapped whenever I was doing the leg press. So that gives you a feel of how I do my leg press. So I'm gonna do about three to four warm-up sets with that. And some of you guys that are in chairs, you're probably wondering, it's like, well, you shouldn't belong in a chair because you can do this stuff with a leg. Well, the reality is, like, one day I want to get out where I can just walk, and that's the goal. I've been doing rehab for over 15 years, and regardless of what you guys say, it's like, I do, I do. I wish I could just get up and walk, but I'm in the situation when I am. And it's easy for people to judge, criticize, and just say this and that about you, but this is my life and I'm doing as much as I can to try to succeed. I seem to stick from like previous and stuff from the previous videos. You can see I caught something, my voice is gone. But it's like, I'm just living my life to the full extent and you guys should. You know, it's easy for people to just judge me, but I don't care what you guys do that are in the wheelchairs. And I hope that you guys just do as much as you can and get better and just walk normal and stuff like that. But sometimes you just gotta be the best you can with the situation at hand. And regardless of what hand you're dealt, you just gotta be the best that you can. And quit worrying about other people. So yeah, people are gonna criticize me, people are gonna do this, and people are gonna do that about me. Nick does this, Nick does that. But again, just live your life. That's the key. Step number one. Now how sexy am I? Shaving. Oh, Harry. Now that's a sex kit right there, let me tell you. Alright, let's do this. Ah. 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 This is the what you look for is you're doing to make sure this actually comes down far enough. You actually get a 90 degrees between a person's middle of their thigh to their calf. So basically at 90, like right here. That's what you're looking for whenever people do leg presses. It's not about going so deep. It's not about the part of the top of the shin or the bottom of the shin or the quad. It's making a 90 degrees with their, with their uh, calf and thigh. That's what a leg press is about. Set two, sixth place. Set 
two, same way. Mm. Ah. stuff you want to make sure that you don't let the plates touch so when you're doing like leg extensions it's like well how far do you go when you kick out you can't really kick out all the way it depends on how much weight you use when you come back just don't let the weights touch then the, it actually takes off the resistance off the muscles as long as you go right before that still leaves constant tension on the muscle whatever you do when you do cable so you kick it out up right before or prior whatever your whatever your goal is all right i'll bump it up a little bit away third set oh Wheelchair Athletics Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit that provides and supports disabled athletes. Please support our cause. Volunteer, donate funds, mail items for the eBay store. <laughs> 